Hello and welcome to this episode of Makeup Box Mondays. In this episode, I'm going to have a look at a filament from Greenkate 3D called Patchy Spearmint Green. So let's have a look after the intro. So let's have a look at the label. And here it says uh, print temperature should be 205 to 245. And for a patchy, that's uh, uh, pretty low temperature uh, compared to uh, other patchies. But here they say Greengate 3D exclusively extrudes filament from scrap plastics. No, ver no virgin found here, proudly made in the United States of America. Or patchy can print at very low temperature, uh, can print at lower temperatures than traditional resin, even in the upper range of PLA. With precision tolerance, gen generous flexibility and unmatched clarity, and truly a re recycled product, why not try this? Uh, green gate uh, recycling the world's plastics one filament at a time. And you can have a look at greengate3d.com to see more information. But let's have a look at the prints. Um, here's my Maker Coin. That came out pretty nice. I I was impatient when taking it from the bed. Uh, Patchy needs to cool down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but I was breaking this part off. And that was just my in impatience. But uh, the Mechagon came out uh, really nice. There was no issues with the, with the print. This is uh, just me being brutal. <laughs> Having this broken off. Uh, let it came out finally. There's maybe a tiny amount of stringing here in the here part. And then printed Sir Lays a lot, and that came out pretty nice. Uh, tiny amount of stringing, but for a patchy, uh, I would say very minimal stringing compared to some others. So it was coming out really, really good. Um, See on camera, it's a little bit uh, too bright. The, the green color, it's a, a little bit darker. Maybe uh, it's just the camera settings on the color. Uh, the print looked really nice. Uh, and then printed the Otis model by Gareth, and this came out quite good as well. Uh, uh, very, very little stringing, and that's pretty good for Apache filament. Um, the back side here, the overhangs came out really smooth, no issues. Um, and finally, I printed Misty Belly, um, that came out excellent. The uh, overhangs uh, did a pretty good job here. It's difficult sometimes, maybe a little bit of drooping on strand here, of, the, of drooping, uh, a tiny amount of stringing, but for a patchy filament, it's pretty, pretty good. So overall, I was quite happy with this filament. It was printing for me at 235. I decided to try the temperature, and that came out pretty nice. Normally, patchy filament needs a little bit hotter print temperatures, but um, this came out fine at uh, 235. So overall, I was just quite happy with this filament. And it's it's found on Greengate 3D if you want to try it out. It's a good choice, I think. But that will be it for this video. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.